Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install the free stats application, which is going to allow you to do things like add monitoring tools onto your bar here, which is going to allow you to see everything, all the details of your computer's information. We're going to be installing this on macOS Sonoma, and all you need to do is to go to this page here, which I'll leave a link to in the description. This is a GitHub page, and once we're here, all we need to do is go to the releases section, and we're going to go ahead and download the latest version of stats. So this was updated four days ago at the time of recording. Just click on stats.dmg and download it. So once we have our stats application downloaded, we're going to go to downloads and then find our stats app here, double click, and then we're going to drag and drop this into the applications folder. So just left click, drag and drop and drop it into applications. And I'm going to minimize this now. So within applications, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the stats app here. So we're going to run this by double clicking and it's going to ask us, are we sure we want to open it? Press open. So now you can see that we have a bunch of stats open at the moment, RAM, CPU, SSD. You can configure this. And one thing that you should probably do is to change the settings. I like to have this starting at login. And now basically these three widgets are working on the top bar here. And also we can customize the temperature gauge as well. So what I'm gonna do is to put the average CPU and the average GPU here. So I'm gonna customize my sensor like that because I just wanna see the CPU and GPU temperature. And then also I'm gonna customize my battery showing because I don't necessarily want my battery to show like that. So I'm gonna disable battery because I don't really need any more battery information. And this is basically how I've customized my computer to use macOS Sonoma. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.